Uh, okay, all right, let's talk about the wars, because so much happened with ISIS, and I know you follow ISIS very closely. Hey, You're, uh, you've I been mean, over. I pay attention, I don't follow ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you so have some issues. With a, this a lot of let me let me a lot of <laughs> developments about ISIS, and I want to get everybody's take on this. See what the significance. Okay, one, ISIS is now in Libya. We found out that they took over a whole town, including beheadings, gender separation, all the stuff that make them so fun. Uh, in Syria, Al Qaeda and ISIS have patched up their feud, and they're back together. Great. Uh, ISIS would be jihadists are getting on cruise ships to get to the battlefield because they're not apparently inspected, you know. Well, they shouldn't <laughs> eat the food on those cruise ships. <laughs> well, maybe they should. <laughs> That's our best um, defense. The joint, head of the Joint Chiefs said it would take 80,000 troops on the ground to retake all the territory if we wanted to actually defeat ISIS. So I guess my first question is, shouldn't we stop all this talk about we're going to militarily defeat ISIS because it would involve troops on the ground and we're not going to do that? You, well, you, you know what's never discussed when we talk about ISIS is the fact that uh, probably their most powerful military forces within that are operating under the banner of ISIS are secular former Ba'athists that were fired by George Bush's brilliant man, Paul Bremer, in Iraq. They've joined a coalition with radical Islamists who are doing the kinds of things you're talking about. They're beheading people. They're imposing a very insane interpretation of Sharia law. But this is not just, you know, crazy Muslims who want to behead people. There are people in the north of Iraq that are fighting the same war that they were fighting against Bush's troops when he got sent in. So to narrow it down to this would be like saying Bush was on a, on a religious crusade going into Iraq and he hired Blackwater, the neo-crusaders, and they went in there and they started waterboarding people and ripping out there. And this is a Christian war. I, I think it's much more complicated than that. And oftentimes we write it off as, well, just, this is just the religion. It, it, it is a much more complex landscape uh, right now. But it's, look. My, my actual view of this is that once upon a time an American president is going to have the spine to say, we're not going to do anything. It's actually their problem. Right. And, and at some point, I agree. at some point, the regional powers, if it, it really is a big problem, then Turkey should be tackling it, Saudi Arabia. Now, we can help them. And we could definitely it's, support you know them, but why are we the ones, it's like welfare, why are we the ones that have to go in there, own it? And that's why they're, they're doing well. Exactly. The best thing that ISIS ever happened to ISIS is Obama elevating them to this grand global brand. I, that's why uh, Al-Qaeda and ISIS I, together. I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't think that, I don't, in, in defense of the president, I don't think he decided that ISIS is our number one public enemy. I think there's, there's critical intelligence that indicates, look, if, if the police commissioner of New York City, Bill Bratton, who used to be the police, police commissioner here in Los Angeles, and he has said publicly that ISIS is the number one threat in New York City. Why? Because they are so sophisticated with their social media and with, with recruiting lone wolves over the internet. They have massive videos showing you know, folks in the, in, in the United States why Faisal Shahzad... These people were in the U.S. until we made it our war. They were interested they were in not. taking they back were, they were Iraq. They're Sunnis already reaching fighting out Sunni internationally Shia. through social media. But you're talking about the to, intelligence. Of course, they want recruits. What happened to the Khorasan group? Remember when they were the big threat? Then they disappear. Now it's ISIS. Then we'll go back to it being Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. It's the flavor of the month of terrorism. There's, the, the New York Times really, said there were 5,000 Islamic militant groups in the world. 5,000. Um, it, it's, it's a little disingenuous to say that there are that many Islamic militant groups in the world. There are some of them yet, that are better funded. There are some of them that have, are better networked. There are some of them that have more territory. ISIS has all of those things. It's the size of the state of Indiana. It's got massive financial resources. I mean, this is not just... But don't, it's way more powerful than Al-Qaeda was when we were hit at home in 9-11. I know, but see, here's the thing. Um, I, to take your point, I think unless we let the Muslims have this fight amongst themselves, it's never going to work out the right way. Because as long as we're doing the fight, it doesn't have enough credibility. Actually, it's like when I, when you or I say critical things about Islam, it's not nearly as effective as when an Islamic person, a Muslim, says something critical. It has to come within the, from within the tribe, even though we're saying the exact same thing. Right. And, and either the Iraqis want their country together or they don't. And right. currently they don't. And until they fight bloodily enough to realize it's not worth it, there's nothing we can do but how to can help have, that situation how can we have this at all except make it worse. Without, without bringing up the context of, I mean, Saudi Arabia 
one of the U.S. top allies, is beheading people sure. left and right. Atrocious human rights record. Right. We, are, we are now in bed with General Sisi in Egypt, who is Mubarak after sure. Mubarak. We, we have bear a big... This isn't just, oh, Muslims need to fight Muslims. The U.S. is not a passive player in this. The U.S. is funding the very threat that we claim yes. to be trying Let's to Let's become a passive player. That's but, what we're saying. All right.